Welcome back to another episode of Explore Manor ISD on MIC TV. I'm your host, Lydia Gutierrez. On May 1st, Dr. Sormani began leading Manor ISD as its new superintendent. Sormani is a three-time degree earner from the University of Texas and is coming to Manor with 23 years of experience in education. We are so excited to begin this new chapter. Take a look at what Dr. Sormani says makes Maynard ISD the right place to be. Start off with our elementary schools where we have everything from international baccalaureate schools to schools that offer dual language for students to learn Spanish and English at the same time. On top of that, we have programs in project-based learning, in new tech, and you go even further in the high school level, every high school offers a pathway for a student to get a college degree in associates before they graduate. In addition to that, there's industry-based certifications, award-winning fine arts programs, and competitive athletics. We even have different size high schools. If you prefer something smaller, we have a 4A high school and we also have a traditional 6A high school with the, the largest of the athletic and varsity programs. Manor ISD celebrated our Art on the Bus contest winners for their incredible work at the Capital Metro Art on the Bus Unveiling event. Pioneer Crossing scholars were honored for their pieces and got to see the reveal of their artwork on a Cap Metro bus. Scholars also took a sustainability tour to learn about the importance of cutting back on emissions and the benefits of public transportation. We are so proud of our Pioneer Crossing scholars for their amazing accomplishments. The Maynard Education Foundation hosted a red carpet charity gala to benefit our Maynard ISD scholars. The community and partners came together to create a memorable experience to give back to scholars and staff. Thank you so much to all who attended and helped to make this possible. From incredible gift baskets to bid on, to support the district, to outstanding performances, the gala was a real treat for our staff and community. We would like to say a huge congratulations to our mentor of the year, Mike Knapp. Mr. Knapp has been a mentor to 6th grade Blue Bonnet Trail Elementary scholar Darian Thomas. Since Darian's 3rd grade year, both the mentor and mentee say the experiences left both feeling grateful and inspired. Take a look. I became a mentor because when I was growing up, my dad and my mom were mentor-like, but uh, there was sports mentors, there was teachers, and through college I had mentors as well, so I just feel the fabric of the community relies on mentors to support the parental structure. Plus, it's fun being a mentor. I think it's important to give back where you, and you've been helped out throughout your life and your career. So giving back to someone like Darion is very important. It like, um, it's been helping me with like different situations and different ways to look at stuff. It just helped me be better in general as a person. It's been great um, seeing him grow from a third grader to a sixth grader, not just height, but as a person and individual seeing his interest in music and arts, basketball, boxing, all, everything, so it's great. If I have a situation that I'm in, it, like, he tries to uh, like, just like make it in a funny way so that you know, it'll cheer me up. When he does that, you know, it's just like, oh, well, like, you know, it's gonna be all right. For those that are thinking about mentoring, you get to grow as a person as much as you're helping someone else grow. You give someone an outlet outside of their family structure. They can joke around with you, they can bounce ideas off of you, you can give them guidance on how you've experienced life situations. Mentoring is important for all scholars. Become a mentor today. Manor ISD is excited to honor Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. We honor the past and present contributions as well as the Asian American Pacific Islander culture. We celebrated Maynor alumni O'Shawn Mathis for being selected in the NFL draft. Mathis came back to Maynor and the entire community gathered for the Red and Black Day Pep Rally. We got to hear from Maynor Board President Monique Siladon, Mayor Chris Harvey, Mathis's mother, and Mathis on his journey to this point. We got to learn more about what fuels his drive and how giving back to his community inspires him. Check it out. What it means to me is to have the opportunity to come back and, and shine light on the successes I've had and and shine it on others and be able to open the avenues up for other people who's come through man and that you can achieve something greater than life and itself and whenever it comes to that point in life i want everyone else to come and be able to do that come back to man and give the recognition that Maynard deserves at the end of the day. At the end of the day, honestly, it's one of the best things I could have ever done in this process is to come back to Maynard where my roots are, my foundation. Um, if it wasn't for Maynard and my earlier stages, I feel like if it wasn't for them to implement some of their uh, gratitude onto me and uh, athletic ability, Coach Keller, weightlifting, all that good stuff, 
Um, I wouldn't be in this position today. So thanking God for being able to have me in a healthy state to come back and uh, give the recognition uh, to Maynard and the guys who've been here working hard and the people who built this lovely school to, uh, you know, just bring the recognition back. And I'm definitely going to be coming back for some good uh, nonprofit organizational stuff and do a lot of camps and stuff like that in my years on in the league and whatnot. Coming back and just doing all this stuff. I, I would love to just keep coming back and just seeing guys whose little brothers and sisters, kids in the future come to the school and uh, be able to be put on the map as well. So it's great and it's lovely to see. We are so proud of you, Oshan. Thank you for being a role model, not only for the scholars that come behind you, but for the entire community. Maynard ISD seniors came together to celebrate Decision Day. Scholars from each campus represented their future college or career at the event. Congratulations, we did it. I can't wait to see how we all succeed in the next chapters of our lives. Maynard ISD was proud to celebrate Teacher Appreciation Week. We're so thankful for all of our teachers for the selflessness, passion, and hard work they show each day. Here's more on the importance of showing gratitude for our amazing teachers. I think it is important to celebrate teachers all year long, but I'm super excited to focus on this week, which is National Teacher Appreciation Week. Our teachers deserve the world because they prepare our scholars for the world beyond them. We are literally preparing scholars for jobs that don't exist, and we try to do that in a unique and exciting way. In order to do that, we have to take care of our teachers. They are our scholars' best access to their future and beyond. So. Please celebrate your teachers all year long, but especially during Teacher Appreciation Week. Thank you so much for tuning in for the last time on Explore Maynard ISD. I'm your host, Lydia Gutierrez, signing off.